My name is Maria Keller and I'm a digital artist from Mexico. On this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a winter village in Adobe Illustrator. At the end of this tutorial, you will have created a cute little village and learned the process I follow while I create an illustration like this. All the keys and shortcuts I use will be displayed on the screen so you can follow along. Let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is create a new document in Illustrator and to create our winter village, we're going to be using a lot of the shape tools. So if you go here, probably by default, you're going to see this rectangle tool. But if you click and hold that click, you're going to see the rest of the shape tools. One thing that I like to do is release my click here on this little triangle so I can make this window float and move it near my canvas so I can access them quickly. To zoom in on my canvas, I press Ctrl plus and to zoom out, I press Ctrl minus. And to pan around my canvas, I press the spacebar on my keyboard. Now, let's begin working on our village. The first thing we're going to create is a house. So, we're going to select the shape that has no stroke and it has a, a fill of... And this one is going to be this blue. And I have already selected my colors to save time, but you can feel free to find colors that work for your village or the theme or your village. So I'm going to click here on the rectangle tool or press M on my keyboard and make a rectangle that has a width of 192 and a height of 130. And I'm going to hit OK. Now the next thing I want to create is a triangle. So I'm going to click here on this polygon tool and then click on this one. And I really it really doesn't matter the radius, but you have to make sure that you have three sides. I'm going to change the dimensions actually here. So when you create that triangle, you're going to go here and you can change your width and your height. And I'm going to change the width to have 192 and my height to be 70. And now I want to align these shapes. So to align these shapes, I'm, I'm going to use the align tool. So I'm going to go window, align, and this window should appear. Now I'm going to select both objects and then click again on this rectangle and as you can see the, it has appeared an outline here on this shape so now this is a key object and another thing that you can see is that this icon has changed to a key so now this rectangle is a key object I'm going to align them to the horizontal line center and then here on the distribute space I'm going to make sure that I have zero pixels and click here on vertical distribute space so now they are sitting one on top of the other I'm going to change the color of this rectangle to this one and I'm going to go and select this triangle and go object path offset path and then I'm going to offset this 10 pixels but negative 10 pixels and I can have a little preview here and I'm going to hit OK and now this one I wanted to have that um, lighter uh, blue and I'm going to select this uh, big triangle again and go object path offset path and this one i want to offset 10 pixels and i'm going to hit ok now i want to make a copy of this other triangle that i had here so i'm going to select ctrl c and then i want to paste it in place or right in the same spot so I'm, you can go here to edit paste in place or press ctrl shift p and now what i want to do is go to my direct selection tool or press A on my keyboard and go to this anchor point and just extend the line and then do the same one with the other side. Now I want to go here to window pathfinder because I'm going to use the pathfinder tools or you can press ctrl shift F9 on your keyboard. I'm going to select the triangle that I originally created and this one that I extended and I'm going to select here on minus front and now I have a, a shape that is just this triangle. I'm going to undo that and I'm going to go to my direct selection tool or press A on my keyboard and select these anchor points and select these anchor points and then just round them all the way to the top. And you can do that with the circle handles or you can input the value here on the corners top part. Now this one, I wanted to make it white. So if I do it like that right now, you're not going to see it but you are going to make sure that it's already there. I want to create an ellipse and this one is going to have a width of 22 by 22 and then I'm going to select another one that is 30 by 30 
and the big one I'm going to add this color and the smaller one I'm going to add it's actually going to be the opposite so I want to, this to be on the center and as you can see the, the big one is on the front so I'm going to go right click arrange, send to back or shift control open bracket and now it's on the back so I'm going to select both shapes, make one the key and I'll go horizontal line center and then vertical line center and then I'm going to place this window I'm going to group it by pressing ctrl G and put it here on this triangle and go here to the horizontal line center and then while I press shift so I can only move it in one direction I'm going to put it right there in the middle now the next thing I want to create is the door or first let's work on the on the window so I'm going to make a, a rectangle here and I'm going to make this have a uh, height of 40 and a width of 32 and then I'm going to click again on that one and create another rectangle that has a width of 12 and a height of 50 and I'm going to hit OK this one is going to have a darker color because it's, it's going to be actually the inside of the window so I'm going to put this one around here and then make a copy while pressing ALT and SHIFT and move it a little bit here and then select both of them and press ALT and SHIFT and this time the copies are going to be here on the bottom and I'm going to select both of these sorry all of them and press CTRL G to group them and then select all select the bigger rectangle and then go here to the align horizontal and vertical align and now you have your window I'm going to group this one and move it around here and then make another copy on the other side and move it around there to make a copy again I press ALT and SHIFT while I drag it now I'm going to group these windows by pressing CTRL G and then select again on this bigger rectangle and then go here on the horizontal line center to make sure that they are aligned horizontally now I'm going to create some steps so I'm going to go here and make another rectangle and this one is going to have a width of 38 and a height of 8 and this one I want to make it a darker gray and then I'm going to make another one and this one is going to be 52 by 8 now I want this step to be shared at the same bottom so I'm going to select again this rectangle click again on that one and then click here on the vertical line bottom and then I'm going to actually align this to the horizontal line center so it's right there now I want the distance between these two objects to be zero so I select both, both objects, make one the key and go here to the distribute spacing to zero and align them on the, with the horizontal line center I'm going to make this bottom step a little bit uh, lighter and then I'm going to create another rectangle to make the door now this rectangle I want to make it with a width of 38 and a height of 60 and I'm going to create another rectangle and this one I want to make it with a width of 55 sorry with a height of 55 and a width of 33 and I'm going to hit OK now this one I want this to have this purple color and the other one I wanted to share the same blue that we've been using so I'm going to select these two objects align this again by making the step at the bottom one the key go vertical line center no, sorry, horizontal line center and then vertical distribute space to be zero then I'm going to select this door and this one again make one the key object and align them and now I'm going to create two smaller windows right there they I'm going to select click here and make these little windows I'm going to actually use the same dimensions that I just used so I'm going to go with a width of 12 and a height of 15 I'm going to hit OK now this is going to be a window so I'm going to give it this darker blue color put it in there while making a copy while pressing ALT and SHIFT group them and align them with the other window now finally I'm going to create an ellipse for the for the win sorry for the door and this one is going to be 4 by 4 and I'm going to place it around here or maybe a little bit to the top and give it this darker gray and now this is going to be our first house but 
to make a finishing sorry the finishing touches we're gonna make some bricks so we're gonna create a little rectangle and this one is going to have a width of 13 and a height of 5 and I'm gonna hit ok and this one I want I wanted to, to share this blue color and I'm gonna make a copy by pressing alt and moving it around I'm gonna group this one this group and move it around here and then I'm going to make another a copy of this one but facing on the opposite direction direction so I'm gonna go right click arrange sorry transform reflect and make sure that I'm reflecting on my vertical axis and hit copy and now I have a copy of this and I'm going to place it around here and with this we have our first building now the next this is a house, but the next building that I want to create is actually a building. So I'm going to go here to a rectangle tool and click. And for this one, I'm going to create a rectangle with a width of 165 and a height of 273. And I'm going to hit OK. To this one, I'm going to give it this color. And then I'm going to create another rectangle. And this one, I want it to be 182 by 10. And I'm going to hit OK. And I want to round the corners again all the way to all the way and, and then I'm going to select both shapes click again on this um, rectangle tool and then go here to horizontal line center and then the distributed space to be zero and this one is actually going to be white and now I want to create a window so to create a window I'm going to go here to my rectangle tool or press M on my keyboard and create a window that has a, a width of 40 and a height of 63 and then I'm going to create another rectangle and this one is going to be 31 by 21 this one is going to be darker because it's a window and then this one I'm going to select this orange color I'm going to select both shapes and align them to the horizontal sorry the, the horizontal line center and then make another copy group both windows select again the, the bigger rectangle and go here to horizontal and vertical and now you have your window I'm gonna group it and make a copy while pressing alt and shift and then group this align them to the horizontal lines sorry to the horizontal line center and then while pressing hold and shift make another copy right there and now I'm going to make another step so another rectangle and this one is going to be 62 by 8 and I'm going to make the door so I'm going to click here and make a, a rectangle with a width of 37 and a height of 74 and I'm gonna hit OK now unlike the other ones I want to only round the top corners so I'm gonna go here to my direct selection tool or press A on my keyboard and only select the top anchor points and then I'm gonna round them all the way to the bottom or you can input the value of 18.5 and I'm going to make this door to be this color and then I'm gonna select my object and go object path offset path then I'm going to preview it and I think 10 is probably too much so probably 6 would work better so I'm gonna hit OK and make this one to have a, the same color as the other windows and now I'm going to make a small the next thing I'm going to do is create some little rectangles for the door so I'm gonna make a rectangle that has a, a width of 6 and a height of 40 so I actually gave the, the wrong numbers so I'm going to make a rectangle that is has a width of 12 and a height of 37 and I'm going to place it here make it darker uh, actually this one is fine but this one should be a little bit lighter and make a copy while pressing all and shift group both of these shapes and align them to the horizontal line center now I'm going to group all this door 
by selecting all the elements and pressing Ctrl G and make the step share the same base by selecting both objects make the bigger rectangle the key object and go here to vertical line bottom and then select both of these again zero the distance and align them to the horizontal align center now I want to select these bricks and while moving it I'm going to press alt to make a copy um, place one here and you cannot see them because they are on the back so I'm actually going to bring them to the front by right click arrange bring to front and I'm going to do the same with these other bricks and again bring them to the front and I'm going to select both of these and go here next we're going to build our last building so I'm going to create a rectangle click here and make a rectangle with a width of 130 and a height of 155 and I'm going to hit OK now this one I want to I want it to be red and I'm going to make a triangle so I'm going to go to the polygon tool and click and again just as before I really didn't care, don't care about the radius but I have to make sure that I have three sides and I'm going to change the width and the height of this triangle so this one's going to be 130 by 44 and I'm going to select both of them, make one the key object, horizontal align center, and then distribute the space and make sure that it's zero. Now the next thing I'm going to do is something very similar to what we did on the roof here. So I'm going to go object, path, offset path, and then I'm going to offset this in pixels. I'm going to hit OK. Then I want to make a copy of this. Then I'm going to paste it in place by going object, oh sorry, edit, paste in place or control shift P. I'm going to go to my direct selection tool or press A on my keyboard and move this anchor point to extend my line and then move this other anchor point to extend my line. Then I'm going to select both shapes and go here to Pathfinder and select minus front. I'm going to make this one white and just again as before I'm going to round these corners using my anchor points. Now I don't need these two shapes to be separated so I'm going to select both of them and then I'm going to unite them here on Pathfinder so I can have a single shape. Now the next thing I want to do is create a window. To create a window I'm going to make a rectangle and this one is going to have a, a height of 52 sorry 52 and a width of 35. I'm going to hit OK. And now here's my window. This one is going to be white. And I'm going to create the smaller um, squares. And these ones are going to be 13.7 by 13.7. And I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to change the color to the one of the window move it around here then while pressing alt and shift move it around here group them then while pressing alt and shift move it again here to the bottom and then to make the exact same thing that i just did i'm going to press ctrl d to repeat the last action that i did so i'm going to go ctrl g to group all the windows and then i'm going to select again the larger rectangle and align them and I'm going to group this window this is a window control G then I'm going to place one around here and then while pressing alt and shift I'm going to make a copy around here and then I'm going to again while pressing alt and shift make another copy around here and I'm going to group all my windows by pressing control G select again my house shape and click again to make it a key object and then I'm going to go here to horizontal align center to make sure that they are aligned. And I'm going to create a little chimney, so again another rectangle. And this one is going to be 26 by 37. I'm going to select the same red with my eyedropper and go arrange center back because the chimney has to be on the back. 
and finally I'm going to create another step so I'm going to make another rectangle and this one is going to be 50 by 8 step and then I'm going to create the, the door and to create the door I'm going to make a, a width of 35 and a height of 69 and I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to make this one this purple color and I'm going to find the, the other rectangle that I did here and I'm going to give it the same gray that I give to this one so again I'm going to make sure both of these shapes share the same bottom so I'm going to go here to vertical line bottom move this one around here while pressing shift then move select both of these shapes align them and make sure my uh, my space is zero and now I'm going to create a circle so I'm going to make this circle to be 28 by 28 have it this and then I only need half a circle so I'm going to go with my direct selection tool select this anchor point press delete and then I'm going to select both these anchor points the ones on the bottom and I'm going to, go, and I'm going to click on this icon that says connect selected endpoints then I'm going to create another rectangle and this one is going to be 3 by 20 and now I'm just going to align these shapes making one the key object and then while selecting both I'm going to go here to minus front and now I'm going to align this to here and create a smaller ellipse this one is going to be 4 by 4 it's going to be a uh, circle and I'm going to give it the darkest gray that I have here on my palette and there we go now again as before I'm going to copy these bricks and I'm going to put one here and remember to bring them to the front so arrange bring to front or control shift close bracket and then I'm going to copy this one around here and then this other one around here and now you cannot see it because the one that I just copy is actually below. I'm going to press Ctrl Y and with this I can see all the shapes as lines and I'm going to select the bricks and go right click, arrange, bring to front and to go outside this again I'm going to press Ctrl Y and now I can see all my bricks. And I'm going to select them all and change the color to this dark one and now I want these bricks to be masks on this shape so I'm going to select this one cut it by pressing ctrl x and then I'm going to select the shape and go here on this little icon that is called draw inside so now as you can see around the shape you can see a little dotted line and that means that now I can only draw inside the shape and I'm going to paste in place by pressing ctrl shift p and that's it and I'm going to select the other bricks and repeat the same ctrl x to cut them select the shape and make the draw inside mode active and to go outside you can click here on the draw normal or double click and now we have our house I'm going to group this one and then I'm going to group my my building by pressing ctrl G and finally I'm going to group my house and now I want to create a base for them so I'm going to go here and make another rectangle and this one is going to be 602 by 25 and I'm going to hit OK now I'm going to make this purple and I, I can change here instead of align to selection align to artboard so I can align this rectangle that I just created and then I'm going to put it right here I'm going to move my houses around the places where I want them to be so around here and maybe the red one around here and then what I want to do is select this house, select the baseline and make sure that the distance between these two is zero. Select the house, select the building, click again and make sure the distance is zero and repeat the same process. Now I actually want the building to be behind the house so I'm going to go right click, arrange, send to back and move this house I think around, around here maybe. Okay, so 
next we're going to create um, some snow here for this um, this base. So I'm going to go with my pen tool and click here and then click here again to make a line. And I'm actually going to make this line uh, black for now just so you see what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go effect, um, distort and transform and I'm going to go to zigzag. And a window like this should appear and if you hit here on the preview you can see what it's doing. So on reach per segment I want to have 40 and I don't want them to be that that high so I'm going to change the size to 5 and I'm going to I don't I don't want this to be like on corners so I want to change to smooth and I'm going to hit OK. Now if you see here, I can still see the original line because this is an effect that I just applied. So to make this, I'm going to expand the appearance and now I have actually a line. So I'm going to go to my pen tool and go here to this last one. And then go here and here and here to close my shape. And I want to make this white. So I'm going to cut it again with Ctrl X. Go select my shape and go into the draw inside mode and ctrl shift b to paste it and then we have our base now we're going to create some trees so i'm going to make a triangle again i don't care about the radius and i'm going to change the size of this one to 25 by 19 and then i'm going to select i'm going to give it this color and make two copies of this one I'm going to make one and then another one and I'm going to change this one to be 33 by 25 and then this other one I'm going to change this to 43 by 33 I'm going to change the color so they look like they are behind and last, well, lastly I'm going to arrange center back then arrange center back and move this a little bit to the top and to make sure that they have the same distance i'm going to select everything make sure that i am aligning to my selection and then go here to vertical distribute center and now they are going to be um, separated by the same distance and i'm going to make the bottom part by making what one with a width of six by 40 and I'm going to change the color of this to this brown. I'm going to send it to back and make sure that both of these are aligned. And now I actually want to move this here to the bottom so I can group it and make sure that the distance between this group and this base that I just created is zero. And now I'm going to be creating some of the trees. So I'm going to go inside this group with double click. I'm going to cut this, sorry, copy this shape by pressing Ctrl C, go outside and Ctrl Shift B to paste it in place. And I'm going to move this while pressing Shift around here. And then while pressing Shift and Alt around here, and then around here maybe, and then here, and then here and here and I'm going to make some different trees so I'm going to make some simple triangles so I'm going to go here and make a one that is just a triangle and I'm going to change the dimensions to one that is 43 by 71 and I'm going to put it um, here and I'm going to make a copy of this and this one I want it to be 43 again, but this time by 50. So it's going to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to move it around here, make sure that both of them are aligned. And then change the color. This one for, for this color, and then make the other one for the other one that is darker. And I'm going to actually bring this one to the front, so arrange. Bring the front, and move this a little bit to the top. And make sure that also these two are arranged with the front so the tree is not behind and I'm going to 
make a rectangle and it doesn't matter the size just around here I'm gonna fill it with a white color and then just as we did I'm gonna select ctrl X to cut it select the shape go draw inside ctrl shift B to paste it again outside the draw inside mode and then I'm going to go here again to the draw inside and paste it but it's it's here so I'm going to move it around here go outside the draw inside mode and there we go I'm going to create some simple trees by making circles and I'm going to make one around with that is 45 by 45 and then I'm going to create another circle that is 32 by 32 and just as we did with the these triangles here I'm going to give it this color and then the other one that is going to be actually this is going to be the small one and this is going to be the one this I'm going to bring this to front by right click arrange bring to front and right click arrange bring to front so I'm going to give it this color and this one is going to have darker color and one thing that I want to do is just simply move this one and make a copy around here and just make this lighter then again cut it ctrl x go to this one go to the draw inside mode ctrl shift p to paste it and now outside this and then again while moving i'm going to press alt to make a copy and i'm going to make this a little bit lighter cut it go to this one draw inside ctrl shift p to paste it in place and there we go now we have some other trees and finally we're going to create other trees with a rectangle and this rectangle is going to be let's think about um, 50 by 70 I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to round the corners all the way and then I'm going to make another rectangle actually it's going to be again with a width of 40 and this one is 70 is OK and another one and this one is going to be 20 and just as before I'm going to round the corners and I'm going to make sure that they are aligned and that this one share a distance of zero and this one as well I'm going to move it a little bit to the top so we can see it and there we go now I'm going to select all the shapes and go here to the pathfinder and unite them so they are only one shape make sure that this is aligned with the other part of the tree and then make a copy and align it to this other tree and I'm gonna make this a little bit darker and that's it and now to add a little bit of uh, shade I'm gonna make a rectangle and make it around here and then just simply select this one and make it a little bit lighter cut it ctrl x and select the shape and go here to the drawing side mode and ctrl shift b to paste in place I'm gonna make sure that to bring this to the front so right click arrange bring to front and do the same that I just did with with the other three with this one so I'm going to give it the same green and then make it a little lighter ctrl x then select my shape go to the draw inside mode and ctrl shift p uh, this one is actually going to be more, more like that and now we have our trees and now finally I'm going to group all these so select everything and press ctrl G and then I'm going to go here to my align options and make sure that I'm aligning to artwork and then I'm going to go horizontal align center and vertical align center I'm going to give it a background so I'm going to make a rectangle here and I'm going to send it to back again ctrl shift open bracket and give it this gray color and finally we're gonna add some final touches with another rectangle and this one is going to be mm, with a width of 50 and a height of probably 20 and I'm gonna hit OK and I want to round the corners make it white and move it here and then make a copy of this and put one here and then another one around here make sure that they are intersecting then make another one here and another one here and then another one here and again you can make sure by making the space here 
and one thing that you can do is select these three anchor points and move them with shift sorry all the anchor points so you can go inside this shape even though it's not a group select all these anchor points and move them with shift a little bit so it's a little bit longer and then move another one here and again you can double click to just isolate this shape so with your direct selection tool or press a on your keyboard and make this one sorry uh, move it a little bit here to the to the left and finally i'm going to create two circles one that is going to be 37 by 37 and another one that is going to be 32 by 32 and i'm going to hit ok and then i'm going to place this circle around here select both shapes go to my pathfinder tools and go minus front and put the moon around here and now all we have to do is just select everything and then press shift again to deselect the background and group this one and then go again here make sure that you are aligning to artboard and go horizontal line center and vertical line center and now you have your illustration center and with this you have completed your very own winter village i hope you have enjoyed this this tutorial Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.